Their labored walking tells you something about the difficult trek they've had. Some 350 Iraqis from the Yazidi minority were freed by their Islamic State captors and delivered into the relative safety of the Kurdish north, south of Kirkuk, where Kurdish Peshmerga fighters are helping them. Almost all of the Yazidis released are elderly, disabled or sick, including several children seriously ill. Three of our men are still held captive by Islamic State. We don't know the whereabouts of our remaining people and children. The fighters transported the Yazidis by bus to about an hour's drive from Kirkuk, where they spent the night. One Yazidi says when they first boarded the buses, everyone thought they were going to be executed. Islamic State fighters attacked Yazidis in northwest Iraq last summer, killing, capturing or enslaving thousands of them. Most of the freed Yazidis here say they spent months in captivity. Some of the Islamic State treated us well, but others did not. Overall, their treatment wasn't good. Last month, Kurdish forces finally drove back Islamic State fighters in northwest Iraq. That broke a long siege of Sinjar Mountain, where thousands of minority Yazidis were stranded without proper shelter or food for months.